What's up everyone? Today I want to show you how to bypass FRP on Oppo A3X. That is the brand new one you can see right here. We cannot type the passcode to bypass so that we have to go back and go back again to the Wi-Fi setting and then we have to press on the sign and after that select on share and then click share after that continue and right here select on the three dots on the top and select on the settings and after that, select on learn more about QuickShare. And then we have to select on the three dots and share article. And then select on Chrome. and just with that account and again select on the three dots and share article again and Chrome again and we can all and we can now turn on the browser and we need to type I suggest my blog my blogger okay top 10 fix 9.blogspot.com You have to go to my blogger in order to uh, in order to to turn on settings of the phone. Top ten fix nine dot blogspot dot com. And every everybody please also subscribe my blog. Okay, on the right hand, top ten fix nine dot blogspot dot com. Then you have to type on a search. Type for F O P R, and then select on search. After that, you have to press on F O P Factory Reset Protection or Function, and scroll down. And then select o Open Settings Up. Okay. And then it will navigate to the setting of the setting. Uh, I'm sorry, out of phone. And then you have to scroll down to find uh, yeah, okay, right here home screen and lock screen. And then um, select on home screen layout, and it will navigate to the home screen, but it's not completely completely yet okay you have to find an application called phone clone on the top just open it okay clone phone I hope everyone know that hope uh, know that clone phone app okay just allow it right here select on uh, Oppo uh, I'm sorry wait a minute yeah sure we have to select on Oppo Realme and then the QR code will appear and after that you need to have a phone right here another phone that contain an app called clone phone okay if you don't have the application you have to go to the Play Store download from the Play Store called clone phone okay and then select uh, the old phone and allow for the function and then you have to make a scan the QR code from the new phone and then it will connect the phone together in order to transfer one application that we want to right here you have to press on custom okay custom down here custom okay and then you have to uncheck all the option we keep only one option is called app data 
and then right here we have to uncheck all we have to transfer only one at whatever you want okay whatever you want I choose super VPN and then just like on start and wait for a second okay that the transferring is okay now and then you have to select on done on the app or P device just like on done and after that select on skip and next and then select on button and get started that's all right for this step we have uh, it was, uh, we have bypassed some things that is not very full option that we cannot scroll the top in order to find the other option on the top okay we cannot touch on the top that is not full option it's not full function and then we have to go to the setting again by scrolling down uh, in order to find the option called security privacy and then we, we have to set up the phone locks and you have to choose one I choose button continue and whatever you want okay I type n and then again and enable lock screen I'm sorry cancel and then after that we have to lock the screen to, to turn on I'm sorry to lock the screen we still cannot touch on the lock the screen we have to type the button again and then uh, remind me again tomorrow oh no wait a minute tomorrow okay and then you have to go back we still not can we we cannot still touch on the top what are we going to do next the last step we have to go to the setting again by going to the additional settings and after that select on backup and reset and after that reset the phone and erase all data and type the the pattern that we have just set up at the moment and then the phone will reboot and it may take some time for rebooting it may take about five minutes for rebooting and everybody please don't forget to subscribe like share and ring the bell for the future video and also don't forget to subscribe my wife's channel army food if everyone like cooking you can go to my wife's channel and watch her video Again, I never encourage people to unlock the stolen phone. We do this for our own device. Okay, after that, we have to select on next and next again. We have to resetting. I'm sorry, we have to reset up the phone again from the beginning. And next. And next. And skip it skip it after that connect the Wi-Fi okay type your Wi-Fi passcode and then it's like on next And then done copy and wait and see right here it is still locked with the FOP the water state our phone yeah that's okay now the phone has 
then already bypass the FOP. We can go into the menu by self safety. Okay, just skip it, and then uncheck all the application. Okay, and wait for the process of the setting. So the setting up the phone. Just skip it. Next. And next again and wait and see okay just test the slide slide up okay that's okay that is full option now that is full functioning now we can use every function of the phone that means we have already bypassed the FOP thank you goodbye